I'm gonna try to show you what I'm doing here to patch up um, my muscle burr hat. So I'm at the very end, I have my stitches here and I cut my yarn so I have this long end that I'm gonna weave in. Um, first we're gonna go through all of the stitches in a circle. So I have my needle here. We're gonna thread that and go through all of these stitches. And it's nothing fancy, I'm just pulling it through. So then I can let go of this needle and I'm gonna take that marker. And now I'm gonna go through the other side. And I'm gonna pull it through those four stitches. And now I can let go of my needles all together. Excuse my forever long cable. <laughs> um, so now I have this basically drawstring top. And I am just going to take it and close it. And then it says to just weave weave it in on the inside basically um, through the backs of the stitches. I pulled it tight and what I'm gonna try to do is put it through the inside because obviously it's closed now. I can't, I have no access to the inside anymore. So this is the last place that my yarn is coming through, that stitch. So what I'm gonna do is go through the middle of the next stitch right here and I'm just gonna stick it in between as best I can. So if you know the anatomy of your stitches, you should know that the back of your stitch running across this V should be that pearl bar, pearl bump. So what I'm gonna try to do is just cross over those pearl bumps from the back. So let me see if I can, if I can demonstrate that a little bit. Instead of coming up through that stitch, I am going to grab that, that pearl bump and go back and see how you can see that pearl bump now. And I'm gonna split it. So then I'm gonna go back underneath. And I'm gonna try my hardest to keep to keep from snagging the other side of this because I don't want to stitch it flat. Pull that through like that and again make sure you keep it tight so that the center remains closed. Looks pretty good. And I know right now you can still see this but we're gonna do this a few times. So I'm going to go through this same stitch of where it is coming up and I'm going to go behind it to this row, to this, the middle of this V, the next stitch. Almost like you're duplicate stitching, if you know what that means. Um, so I'm gonna, I pulled it through to the V next to where I was, so now I'm in the next column, if you will. Let me see if I can get a better angle. The pearl bump that you're looking for should be the color of the stitch underneath the stitch that you're working. Because that's what loops around and attaches that. If you have multicolored yarn like me, you can, that might help you find the next stitch. I'm looking for this like dark brownish color in the middle of my red V. And that's what I'm trying to pick up here. And right here, I'm going to split it and go through. And you don't have to come up every time. Um, but I'm going to go back through this stitch. Not back through the pearl bump, but back through the V. And I'm going to pick up the next pearl bump. And I'm going to split it. And I'm going to not go any further because I'm getting close to the top. 
And then I'm just going to go back and forth like that. So I'll show you guys again. I went through these loops of the stitches next to each other so that I could go to the middle of the stitch next to the one I'm working. And then I'm going to pick up the pearl bump that's right in the middle there. And then I'm going to go down, pick up the next pearl bump, go down, oop, not snag the other side, <laughs> almost did, split that one, and just keep going. And I'm going to go through probably a few more stitches in this column, <laughs> just to be sure that I am gonna just to be sure that these ends are gonna be secure so it is a little bit tricky but it's honestly once you get the hang of it it's not that bad um, and it's just if you pull apart the stitches it's a little bit easier to see those pearl bumps um, so I'm not doing I'm not going through the ladders here in between the stitches I'm going in the middle of each V, in the middle of each stitch. Um, so I would go through the middle of this stitch so that I'm in this V. Once your yarn is there, it kind of opens up that stitch. So I'm going to pick up this green one first, split it, and this one's like an increase round, so it's kind of looks funny, or I'm sorry, a decrease round. but. Still, you're just going to pick some stitches to go through and you're going to go behind all of them and just keep splitting that pearl bump. Back through, find the next pearl bump. Back through, find the next pearl bump. Go back through find the next pearl bump and split it and pull, pull through and I hope you guys can see this okay it's um again if you have like multicolored yarn or variegated yarn like I do um the pearl bump that you're looking for is going to be the color of the stitch underneath the one that your yarn is in the middle of so now I'm going to go over here to this next right here to this next column of stitches and I'm gonna go and again I'm trying not to grab the other side um, so this one the stitch that I'm in is this like reddish pink color so but the stitch underneath it is this like green color so that's the pearl bump that I'm looking for and as you can see it's right there and then I'm looking for like a navy blue one and then a pink one, na another navy blue, another pink, and then I'm looking for that like icy blue right there. I'm going to split it. And the reason you split it is just so that it's a little more secure. It's not as slippery, so it's not going to come out as easy. And you can do this as many times as makes you feel safe <laughs> with your weaving in. Um, I usually do maybe like one, two, three, four, and then I call it good. That's usually pretty good for me. And you don't, especially if you're working with a natural fiber like wool or alpaca or something like that, you don't have to tie knots. So now that I have a few rows, I'm just stretching it out to even out what I've pulled through. I don't want me weaving in the my ends to like scrunch up the stitches at all so I'm just relaxing it a little bit so now I'm literally just going to put this needle through the middle and I'm gonna pull up this needle like I said careful not to snag any of the other sides if you can at all possible and then I'm gonna I'm gonna stick it through some random place you just want it to be in a place that's separate from where you wove in your ends weaved weaved in your ends I don't know 
So I'm going to just gently pull so that you don't see any yarn over here. It looks like it's to the inside. And now you can just snip and let that disappear to the inside. And now you have a little tail on the inside, but no one's ever going to know because you wove in your ends. And that tail is just going to sit inside and no one will ever know. So here is my finished muscle bro i am so excited here you can see all my, my little stitch markers my finished product i think it's really cool i love how this side's a little more abstract and streaky and this side's very much like stripey it's very cool i'll have to show you guys in some better lighting but this is what i have right now and i was finishing it so I wanted to um, I wanted to show you that process, weave in some ends with you guys, and explain how you might finish off your muscle burrow if you have no idea, which I did get a comment about. So I wanted to be helpful. I know it's like two months later or something, but I wanted to keep my keep my word and show you how I did that. Um, yeah, and I guess it's a little in lesson in the anatomy of stitches as well. So that was kind of fun. Um, yeah, if you guys if you guys have any more questions, please let me know. I would love to answer them. But that was a quick little thing that I wanted to put out.